What are we about to do right now? We are going to figure out who is the worst CEO on social media. I've wanted to talk about each of the people we're about to go over for a while, but I haven't wanted to dedicate an entire video to them because they don't deserve that much attention. So I thought, why not just roll them out into one video and then maybe they'll have enough clout to make this worthwhile. We're gonna get to that in a second. Let's find a comment to shout out for my last video. This the one, D'Angelo's voice is lowercase. His laugh is all uppercase. This is true and that is why I do not laugh. Usually when CEOs are the front face of a company, they try to make it look good, but for some reason, the people we're about to go over see more business strategy in being the worst person as publicly as possible. So we're gonna talk about the CEO of Vertica, the Bang Energy CEO, and we're gonna talk about the MyPillow guy, who's definitely the craziest out of all of them. Let us go ahead and talk about the Vertica CEO. Vertica sells boring winter sports outerwear. You have truly lost the plot if you think I'm about to drop 230 on some crop top overalls. The very first image image that comes up of our man is actually for second degree arson. The man clearly does have some sort of warped love for winter sports, but as far as the environment that he's skiing in, this is where we're getting into weird territory. After he and a friend went snowmobiling near Independence Pass, the two men had apparently been riding their machines in a federal wilderness area where motorized vehicles are forbidden. He then posted an image of the article and he said, I'd like to thank everyone that made this possible. This is the reason I'm not making a video about him by himself. When I read this line, I was like, okay, no. He's one of those people who anytime you talk about him or put him in the title, he takes it as hype. He's like, thank you. This man was becoming such a menace to wildlife and the terrain around them that he started getting a bad rep. One headline called him the worst tourist in the world. A photo on Instagram of him standing ankle deep in a beloved and federally protected high alpine lake near Aspen. One can make out what appears to be a descending turd. So obviously I have cropped out the bottom of this image, but this dude is gross. Even though cases were now spiking in Colorado, he said that some doctors had told him that the virus was less of a threat than the media would have us believe. So he's also an anti-masker. Downstairs at a kitchen island, Les told me that there was a warrant out for his arrest. With the independence pass charges still pending, Les decided to poke the bear. He posted another provocation, a picture of him standing on top of a mossy fallen tree trunk that bisects the hanging lake. A sign prohibits walking on the downed trunk but there is Lesh on Instagram out in the middle of the lake. Wait, is that on his Instagram? I can't find the brand's post. I did find this though. Not the cultural appropriation. The last thing I have to say about David Lesh, he was on this TV show, Judge Mathis, 20 years ago. He literally has not changed or grown as a person since age 15. She deliberately threw a lit cigarette butt out the window of the car, which hit the side of my car. And I got out of the car and I wanted to, you know, kind of settle the score. And I spit on the front and back windshield of the defendant's friend's car. His research response was spitting on her friend's car. And I noticed that she had picked up a glass bottle that was laying in her yard. And at this point, one of my friends was in the back seat and I have a softball bat in my car for the batting cages. And he got halfway out of the car and playfully held the bat in the air. Playfully held the bat in the air. He spit on this girl's car and then her friend threatened her with a baseball bat. I would literally think that if somebody was approaching me with the bat and laughing, that they were insane. Long story short, the guy is a mess. And if you go to his clothing, brand, you can see how much he uses this to sell. Oh look, he has these character stats. 85% backcountry, 70% park, 100% pouring milk. Uh, wow, why are people like this? Who asked? I have fixed that for him. For cringe, we have ourselves over 9,000. David Lesh, the CEO of Vertica. Overall, gross dude. So Bing Energy, their marketing is annoying to me personally. I'm just not into that sort of hyper fitness girls everywhere aesthetic. Bing Energy CEO has a million followers on Instagram as well. He's a bit of an influencer himself. Wait, it starts getting weird. He actually purchased these followers. I'll show you what he did. So I have a video on my channel. The Kardashians are using their followers as actual currency. In this video, I basically explain how there's this company, Curated Businesses, that he pays to funnel followers into his account. This is unironically Boomergram. Here we go. Takes a little while for this channel to kick in. But we are on 10. Gotta get a new treadmill to go faster. If this is what Bing Energy does to you, 
I think I'm just going to avoid it. Welcome to the Bang Revolution, folks. I'm sitting here at my desk, blessed in this beautiful mansion, blessed, and here to bless you now with some really cool information. Check it out. Higher protein density diet. Wait a minute. What was that flex? Did he just say, I live in a mansion? Look at this. A beautiful quote. The enemy of world class. The pseudoscience and the weird Instagram post. None of that is really a crime. My problem with the Bang Energy CEO is that the dude is creepy. Uh, running a company that just so unscrupulously promotes on TikTok using actual kids. And Daniel Cohn is just one of the many people that Bang Energy has do these creepy, cringy ads for them. She's 14. Children should not be drinking energy drinks. This is a contract that her mom signed with Bang Energy. Yeah, here back with another IG video. Um, today I'm gonna be in carotene and I have my Bang, as you guys know. I didn't know they were undisclosed. You've got to be messing with me here. She has to say it at some point. I'll be right back. I'm on a washcloth. This is okay. not legal. Go ahead and add that to the list of why I think Bing Energy is terrible. Now, we're gonna talk about the last CEO of Cringe today. The last one we have in the runnings is the MyPillow guy. If you just go to his website, it seems somewhat outdated. It looks like someone set this up for him in like 1998. But I have to be honest, his pillows kind of look good. I will say that. But it really just is pillows, okay? Let's see what the man has to say for himself. Looks like you're not sleeping well. What yeah. the that is scary. Hey, you're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. Here's the problem with down pillows. You lay there, you feel comfortable, and guess Stay what? Stay away from her. Free her. She looks scared. This pillow is no good, and I see you sleeping on memory foam. It's all about too high or too low, and I'm going to okay. show you where you- Free him. Save him. He looks terrified. Do you not see the look in his eyes? This is not okay. The dude himself just kind of seems like your wacky dad. Well, not my dad. My dad has too much drip to be the my pillow ceo but if you look at him outside of the context bed bath and beyond stopped selling my pillow products after lindell voice continued support for president donald trump in the wake of the january 6th domestic terrorist attack lindell a major republican donor called the attack very peaceful and blamed undercover antifa that dressed as Trump people. So Twitter was like, can you please stop saying that this domestic terrorist attack was peaceful? He actually got banned from Twitter. The account you referenced has been permanently suspended due to repeated violations of our civic integrity policy. Now, the CNN interview. Yet you're claiming this substance, which has not been studied in any meaningful way, can cure COVID, and you have a financial stake in the company, you would profit from it if this is being sold widely. Morally, is that right? Well, you know, I was contacted on Easter Sunday. He was asked a yes or no question. You were running two for one giveaway ads saying, oh, you know, two for one, two for the price of one. So when people look, if you double the price, it's the same as your, uh, no, as, that's as not, your two for that's one not offer. True. Can it I, wasn't a sale offer. The Better Business Bureau is one of the most corrupt organizations in our okay. country. Mike, the Better Business Bureau is one of the most corrupt organizations in our country. Lindell, worst. Guy, these current CEOs that we've been talking about, they don't have to actually have a good public perception. They just have to have enough people who are exactly like them, relate to them, and then purchase their products. David Lesh, he just needs enough people who are also gross. Bing Energy actually is just selling directly to kids. They don't need adults at all. My Pillow CEO, he just needs enough people who are exactly like him, and he can sell directly to that market and be good. It is now time to crown the CEO of Cringe. Let's get the poll running. Option one, David Lesh. Took a dump in a preserved river. Option two, Bang Energy CEO sells energy drinks to kids using kids to advertise them with undisclosed sponsorships. And my pillow guy wants to become some sort of political advisor and save the country from election fraud and is trying to profit off of coronavirus. Oh, snap. Y'all have already decided, as I can see. It is a nearly unanimous decision. The CEO of Cringe is actually Michael Lindell. Shout out the CEO of Cridge. We finally found him. So if we've learned anything today, it's that if I'm planning on selling enough of these to make back the investment, it's clear I'm going to have to figure out how to get a lot of people mad at me. I'll be here all week, folks, at 2 p.m. Central Time. If it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that means I'm uploading a new video here. If it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, that means I'm going live over on Twitch. Basically, what I'm saying is I'll see you tomorrow. Unless, of course, tomorrow is Sunday, in which case, just watch this video again. Okay, bye.